everyone today I'm gonna have torque go over some diagnostic procedures for you so torque whenever you're ready I guess not anyway today I wanted to go over a transmission diagnostics uh, and not so much the diagnosis of the transmission fails uh, it's pretty obvious when you don't have first second third or fourth gear then you know you need a transmission whether you need it rebuilt or replaced um, the bottom line is it needs to come out of the vehicle and uh, be either torn down or like I said replaced in this case on a rebuild my goal is to find out why it failed what it failed for and make sure it doesn't happen again so on these ones this is a 4L60E GM transmission this is going to be installed in uh, just about every truck uh, Chevy truck on the planet um, Chevy GMC 1500s 2500s went to a slightly larger model and of course the Allison's behind the diesels is a totally different model but this is a very 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 common transmission and the common failure of this transmission typically is third gear third gear sits in this drum here this is the input drum it's the very last clutches that set up in this clutch pack uh, when they fail this is what they end up looking like and so you can see this here is a, is a clutch disc and it's down to metal um, you can see how blackened they are. A um, few of the clutches here actually broke. Um, and all the teeth are sheared, sheared off of this one where there should be some teeth um, to actually latch onto that hub. Uh, for reference, these are some brand new clutches and steels. And these are called frictions or clutches in, in layman's terms. So there's your frictions and then there's your steels. They all set up uh, kind of like that, set up all the way down and through. So you have a steel compressing so when the clutch uh, applies it actually holds them um, these are third gear and they're also fourth gear fourth gear applies in these there's just uh, a band that applies that gives you your overrun your final overdrive uh, I won't go into that today I uh, just wanted to go over the actual failure point of these transmissions and why it fails it fails uh, due to loss of line pressure um, and you can basically look at this as a garden hose, right? If you want to water your garden, you got a faucet on one end, you got the hose on the other. You're going to turn the faucet to water the garden. Imagine if this garden hose had a lot of pinholes in it, and over time these holes get larger and larger and larger. Um, comes to a point where you can't turn that faucet up anymore to get any more water out of the back end of that hose to water your flowers. And that's kind of what is going on inside of a transmission. The computer is going to uh, compensate for a lot of that line pressure that you're losing over time. Um, but if the holes get big enough, there's not enough compensation that it can make. So in this case, um, you bring it over here, there's a check ball here <clears throat> that sits inside this case uh, for your third gear apply. And so it's just a little capsule with a little check ball in the end. I don't know if you can see that or not. Mm -hmm. So the check ball sits down and when positive pressure is applied on the top, when the transmission shifts into third gear, there's a passageway here in the valve body that applies positive pressure down into this vein and that holds this check, check ball down into this space here and it's it has to seal this is a critical area that this check ball has to seal into that capsule um, and if it doesn't then there's your low line pressure and, and your line pressure loss that causes this so what I do when I check these um, I get a little bit of juice here and I put a little bit of trans fluid here that's the red you see if you want to come a little closer with that um, you'll see a little bit of red and that's just going to be for color for the video. So the, the, the test here is you want to put a little bit of fluid here and kind of cover that capsule. And like I said, we're, we're covering that right there. So the bottom of this hole runs into the case. If this check ball does not hold this small amount of pressure in through the case, then there's our leak. Um, and you can see on this one here, let me add a little bit of, get that nice and full and give it a few seconds to marinate. And what we're gonna see on the inside there, if you can see that, that liquid there, we're just starting to leak through. I don't know if that's showing up on the video or not. Yeah. And there it goes. So you can see it leaking down And so you can just start seeing it leak through. And this is going to be with no pressure, of course. This is static. So you can imagine when pressure is applied to the backside, how much worse that leak's going to be. So um, just a quick analysis on this unit. What I have to do is now remove this capsule, extract it out, get a brand new capsule in. Um, if you guys are doing it yourself, 
Sonics makes one. Part number's there. It's an AC Delco part. AC Delco uh, sold it to Sonics, and Sonics now offers it um, to get in there and replace this capsule and ensure that this doesn't happen again when I put new uh, frictions and steels. You can put the best ones in the world in, and if, like I said, that garden hose is leaking, it doesn't matter. The unit's going to burn up again. So, thanks for watching.